Sports Candy Talk here, back with another match preview. We've just finished smiling after that Doyle goal, haven't we? Well, we're lucky to have George on, aren't we? Because you stubbed your toe in the celebration and we'll let you out for a while, didn't it? Oh, different George. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh. um, yeah. Filed away. It's a Tuesday night game. It's a fair distance as well. So, you know, 130 miles. So it is. you're looking at least two hours in a car. So fair play to any fans I mean, going to that one. Especially fans that didn't know whether we'll be playing Dagenham in a replay which is crazy because fans might have booked trains or hotels or anything so yeah, yeah that's just daft rearranging it on that date but yeah, yeah. see how many fans turn up mm. um, <clears throat> we always travel well but if we look at the league if you'd have said that when we did this preview I'd be saying that Fylde's in 21st um, I'd have probably said 100% chance that they're not going to sit in 21st. I can't believe they're down there. I think I put them as one of my favourites to go up. I put them as my favourite to win the league. Yeah, that's mad. Um, and I think, so they're 21st on 30 points, Knots off 5th on 46 points. And I think one of the big reasons is Danny Rowe. <clears throat> it's just not performing this season like he has been. Yeah, I don't think he's had in the game with him, is he? He's handed in a transfer request. Yeah, I know that, so. he's just not in it. Even, um, even though he's still oh, yeah. a great player. So, not unbeaten in eight in all competitions now. Uh, obviously, the last game is just going to give players so much confidence, especially. I wouldn't be surprised to see Doyle have an unbelievable game against Fylde. Um Fylde one winning six. That came in the last game. <clears throat> um, that was in the FA Trophy where they got a 4 1 victory. So, you know, both teams coming in off wins, but really the confidence is all with Knotts. Um, last time we met at Medal Lane, Knotts did an absolute number on fire. We had a 2-0 win, where we looked confident pretty much all game. Um, um, and really, with the way things are going, you'd expect us to win this one. Yeah, I'd agree with you on that. I think most fans are going to be looking to go there, especially with their league position and mm. get all three points. But yeah, that takes us on to players to watch for Fylde. We'll go straight in for Mark Yates. <clears throat> he's obviously a former Knotts player, midfielder. We all know he's got it in him to do something special. So for me, he's definitely one to watch. Yeah, 100%. He's not been playing that much recently, but you never know, do you? Yeah. Uh, Ryan Crossdale, midfielder. Uh, joint top scorer with six goals in the league. Goal scoring midfielder is always good. But at the same time, if your top scorer has six goals, it's not great. You look at Thomas on 10, Woodson on nine in the league but Dennis on eight things like that is um, it's, it's alright but Cross there will be a player to watch out for he is good he has got the ability he's been at some decent <clears> clubs <throat> at this level um, that brings me on to their other player to watch which is Danny Rowe now we've already mentioned he's not firing this season um, six goals all season for, for him I would have said at the start of the season that he should be on 15 by now yeah, when you look at his previous seasons, like you'd be expecting him to be on double that at least. Yeah, at least. Um, and no goal in his last six. So definitely out of form. Yeah, massively out of form. But we know he's got the ability, whether his head's in it, for a team that are now in a relegation fight, we'll have to see. That takes us on to team news for Knots now. We've obviously got Turner out, O'Brien out. Um, boot is out as well I know O'Brien is supposed to be back in training in the next couple of weeks but I still think it'll be a while until he's, he's back in the contention for getting in the team so yeah it's pr pretty similar to what it has been the last few weeks really we've had a lot of a chance to rest a few players though yeah yeah. Like, Watson's only had 15 minutes yeah um, <clears throat> Enzio's only had 15 minutes you know and you, like when he came on I think he looked sharp so I think it's good for the players that are performing well like those two to get the break yeah they definitely do deserve it so going on to our team um, a lot of these players now the run we're in pick themselves don't they I can think of at least seven or eight players that pick themselves now so we'll go Slocum in goal yep um, left back for me Bakayogo play pretty well yeah centre backs <clears throat> Ronson and Lacey gotta be I'll tell you what the McCoy had a great game against Dagenham at centre back he really did yeah. he did um, but I think it'll be Rawlinson back in, especially after the way he played against Bromley. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Right back. This is one that we always change our minds with. I, th I think Kelly Evans. I, I think, think you're going to say the same. He, he yeah. deserves to be rewarded for his performances, I think, because over the festive period, he paid, paid a few games and he definitely you know, did enough for me to, to cement a position in the starting eleven. He played well against... Um, Dagging him on Saturday, so I think he just deserves a few run run of games. You know what I mean? Um, personally, I don't think it will be him though. 
I think it will be Brindley yeah. with playing Saturday <clears> Tuesday. Um, Maybe, yeah. But true. obviously, I'm fine with Brindley playing. Good player. Yeah, no, no. It's good to have the depth in that position or any position, really. But. Um, two wings pick themselves Osborne and Enzio. Enzio yeah. Like, say no more. Just great players. Although Osborne did look quite tired. Yeah, I was going to say that. I think uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we see someone else in for him. Did we see Shields bought off early to give him a rest going into the game? Maybe. Does uh, Audley think Shields offers a bit more defensively? You never know with, with him, but he's picking his tactics well at the minute. So yeah. I think the only one we definitely know for that is going to be Enzio. Yeah. Um, and two more players that pick themselves, Rose and Doyle. Yeah. Only option for that is Crawford, but uh, he's not going to challenge that, that position. I don't think so. I mean, he's not a bad player, but the calibre of centre mids we have, like Rose, he seems to be in good form at the moment. Doyle, He's got a sentiment that can score from halfway. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, you know, he's he's played the best he has since he's been at the club over the last couple of weeks. So, like I said, chooses himself. Yeah. Um, <clears> and then up front, Starman, Kai Wotton. And after his performance on Tuesday, uh, Saturday. Thomas. Definitely. Yeah, he, he's, he's so physical, isn't he? He, like, shields the ball very well. Um He's he's got a good vision as well. I think he, he sees a lot of key runs and you know he can pick a lot out. For me, he just likes that finish. He, yeah, but yeah. but you've got to be getting those positions, and I do think he has an edge over Dennis in that respect. Mm, definitely, he wanted that game on Saturday. Yeah, and I, I I know a lot of fans didn't turn up. Um, I don't think it was through lack of in when well, it might have been lack of interest, but you know it's just an FA Trophy game. This is not we were talking their best chance to win a trophy, like. Well, other than a, a trophy for getting promoted, easiest route to get a trophy. Isn't it? Never gonna, never <clears throat> gonna win an FA Cup. No, what? Nev- never gonna. Oh well, yeah, never gonna win a Carabao Cup. Yeah. Whatever the the football league, the Johnson's Paint, whatever it is now, chances of winning that when you're League Two is slim. Um, yeah. FA Trophy, what a chance to actually lift silverware. Yeah, exactly. I'm excited by yeah. it all. Like, I think it's great to to give players like it gives a chance for players like Crawford yeah, yeah, to yeah. play games. But Definitely. yeah, Thomas wanted that um, yeah. prediction. I think we're going to win. Definitely going to win. And I'm going to say it's going to be 2 0. 2 0. Repeat of the last game. I'm going to say 1 1. Really? I think, although it is a team that aren't doing very well at all this season, they've, they've, they were favourites to win the league for a reason. They've got players in that, that squad. I know. I think we're going to be sharp coming into this game with the players who've had I rested. Think Danny Rose scores for them. I think Knotts dominate the game. I think um, Thomas scores for us. I think we dominate. And then they just nick one. I'm going to go Thomas to get two. Hopefully. That would be good. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, safe travels to anyone going up to Firewood on Tuesday night. Obviously, it's a great commitment. Um, and I hope it all goes well with, a, with another Knotts win to keep the unbeaten one going.